Uh, just checking out the old water filters. Just trying to uh, continue on on how I ended up with a gut full of uh, radioactive isotopes in January. And I'll shut this off for now and we'll take you out to the actual location. So surprisingly, there was, I went over all my old water filters, uh, which I saved to uh, use the uh, actual screen in them, um, the membrane. Over the last few years, and um, they didn't show any signs of groundwater or uh, well water contamination from the nearby staked um, uranium outcrop. See, that's uh, here. We'll just go back out and see where we are here. Canada, BC. That's where Hanford Nuclear Repository is, or Reserve, or whatever they call it this week to play their corporate games. That's uh, Kelowna, that's the big place. Penticton, Oliver, little place. A Soyuz, American border. And we're we're going here to my backyard, the White Lake Reserve. So let's just get down to earth there. And there we are. River Road, only it's it's called Horsetail Road, so we're gonna go that's where I live and that's where the duck pond is so we're just we're just gonna head over there a little later and do some readings and I'll pull out the camera if there's any, any surface readings so where are we going there to look at this um, mineral claim. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I thought I had this all set up. Yeah, I guess it's a better idea. Okay, here we are, back in Oliver, um, Sportsman's Bowl, and that's um, Covert Basin. As you can see, this used to drain off a bunch of glacier from over here and down through here and left only bare rock. I mean, it's drained off a few times, obviously, and at one time was mostly covered in glacial too. And see that's where we used to have a big dam on the last glacial retreat from in the big lake that filled the entire valley. And as you can see this is where water drained and that's why it carved this out. And this too. Okay, and this apparently, if the assay is correct, the study which is based on, I don't know, six holes or whatever test holes they dug, is where a bunch of glacial runoff trickled up through the ground, passed through, well, probably cracks in the earth where there's uh, stuff deposits like quartz and whatnot, and brought up all this natural uranium uh, that's uh, U-235 in this area here. Let's show you where the swamp is. Let's go to satellite view. 
yeah, right here. Okay, so. This is. Actually, all water. So, fed by a well there, and this whole area is. Uh, what did they calculate? 37 tons of uranium. If you, you know, sifted out the millions of tons of peat and bog and sand and clay that trapped it all. And I know there is a little artesian well there that I've seen in the spring. You can. If you're real careful and everything's quiet and the wind's still, you can hear it trickling up and then you look and oh yeah, there's bubbles. And it probably came off of, let's go back to the standard map here. So going up from here, and where the water course drained out. Lake Road. Um, Brunel Lake here has is probably part of the source. It, who knows where it came from up here, but way down. Because there's a cropping that's been found there of uranium deposit, and a big one like like not big enough to mine, but or maybe it is if we didn't have a moratorium, and a big one over here. That's that's where I am there, right? That's where this uranium is. That's like half a kilometer. Third of a mile. So you can kind of get a picture of how this was all glaciated in. It's quite higher. Karameos cost him. And a lot of it would have drained in as it melted back from here. It would have also carved out this and drained into where I am. Down through here at one time. Carving different channels as it went. And there's a fault. Well, the whole of the Okanagan Valley is a fault. All the way down to Hanford and past. Fairly old fault, but it's also a fault uh, running through there. So somewhere deep under the earth there's there's a bunch of uranium mixed in with and thorium mixed in with hot steamy water full of minerals. So big one here small one here. Did, my question was, hmm, well, did any of this get into me? Is that why I ended up having a cup full of, you know, just, just to try and eliminate the uh, food vendor where I, me and Mo the dog had some pork on a bun and say, did any of this come from this natural deposit that I've recently discovered? And I actually did, don't go off of the road with my little uh, Geiger counter. So I didn't test out there. I don't normally go off the road other than my own yard. I just stay on public access ways. And so we go to this is I have a pre minus certificate, that's why I know a little bit about this thought no or near enough, but uh, that's why I go on to British Columbia Province, the Ministry of Energy and Mines, and this is mine file. That's where all your claims are, are kept. And this is it. This is the one. That's the coordinates. Latitude and longitude. And that's what they called the claim. The covert basin. Only you, there was a moratorium See, this was staked in sometime around 83, 84. 23 tons of uranium. That's what they published in the Canadian 
Journal of Earth Sciences, Volume 21, May 1984, page 561. If you can't read that. And, uh, that's the summary. Well, how fucked is that, eh? 23 tons estimated of uranium in your own backyard. But at least it got there by nature. Not by some Agenda 21 machine. Boiling water to make electricity. Should be taking that from down in the earth. Well, I guess this will be the first edition of How Fucked Is That. don't know if it all meant anything to you, but it does to me.